Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Free Three once again. Welcome back. This is Flipstip and Lowry on Into Battle, and I will have that game starting. Sorry, gave me distracted for some reason. Anyway, Lowry starting at the southwest side of the map. Not sure what factory he's gonna go for. Yet. Okay, hovercraft. Interesting choice. While Flipstep also going for hovercraft. Wow. Okay. On a map like this, that is not unusual, but. Normally, it'd go for light vehicles or heavy tanks, but yeah, hovercraft's not a bad idea. So there they go. So Flipstep going for a couple scrubbers before Quill, while Lowry going for a few more scrubbers. He's going for a more aggressive. Because Lowry's going to be the more aggressive player in this game. Going to try to win early with quick scrubber harassment right off the bat, while Flipstep is going to be playing a bit more defensive. The Flipstep is attacking first. Yeah, both players are going for an attack right now, and Flipstep is going to probably actually. No, he's, he's not sure where Lowry is. He is simply scouting, setting up one to the northwest and one to the south, sorry, southwest and northwest. That is where he's saying it to. He does know it's southwest now, but one of his daggers is out of position. Not scrubbers anymore. There are daggers now. Yeah, one of them are, is out of position. The other one is going to be... Actually, he's going to be staying there. Is he Is he going to go back? Is he going to go south from here? If he goes south from here, that would actually work pretty well. If he gets around the back and... Okay, he has a... Defender to deal with, so actually I suppose I won't work very well at all. Yeah, that's 300 damage. I No, daggers will not survive that. Just barely, but yeah, they won't survive it. So Flipstep is going to be losing this fight from the looks of it. His commander is upgraded, though, with a ride cannon, so he will be able to deal with the daggers, no problem. Has a Lotus as well, so both players in a bit of a stalemate right off. Neither player being aggressive matters all that much, though. Lowry does have a better position to go in for raids here and there. Looks like he is actually going to find that southwest, that southwest dagger. The, sorry, northwest dagger. The northwest dagger will probably go down, and it looks like Lowry is going to actually be targeting Flips. Sorry, Flips is going to target Lowry's dagger here, or at least was, but now he's lost sight of it. However, Lowry is actually going to lose this dagger from the looks of it. Does actually get same time shot off, but looks like Flipstep does. Oh no, not quite. Lowry is actually going to. He would win this, but Flipstep is avoiding combat, giving Lowry the Northwest if he wants to take it whenever he wants to, and Lowry still comfortably in the Southwest, while Flipstep not expanding that far to the Southeast. He is expanding more to the center, though, getting some defenses as well on top of that, and his commander is in the way. But Lowry able to escape with his dagger and get that repaired. Can have no problems whatsoever, and Lowry has not upgraded his commander, by the way. Support com, not doing much. Well, Flipstep going for a strike com with riot cannon and radar. So Flipstep actually does have radar all the time. Always has radar around his commander. While Lowry does have radar in his base, but he doesn't see what's going on right now. He probably assumes that there's stuff to the northwest they have to deal with, but he doesn't see anything other than that he knows a bit about Flipstep's base construction, but not all that much. So Lowry is actually pretty well set up military. Flipstep is also fairly well set up, so both players are about even, though I think Lowry is slightly ahead for for dagger count. Flipstep will be... Oh, actually, local advantage here it goes to Lowry easily. Flipstep going to lose both of these daggers for free. Actually, he might be able to kill one of Lowry's daggers, but I doubt it. Although, he does have a couple more coming in. That still is not going to help out too much. We'll have to bring these back. We'll have to repair them. Didn't lose them, thankfully, for him. That would have been right in Lowry's territory. Would have given Lowry a ton of resources to work with. Didn't do that which is exactly what he needed to not do, and a mace coming in as well, so Flipstep apparently not too confident in his scrubber micro, or dagger micro, or his ability to handle them, though, that being said, Lowry also going for maces, so both players just switching over to more riot-focused play pretty early on, about the same time, about the four-minute mark. And Lowry looks like he's going to double-check, see if Flipstep has set up over to the northwest side of the map, as well as the southeast. He is, actually, no, Lowry's setting up to the southeast, while Flipstep is just checking to see if Lowry's doing so, before setting up himself, but Flipstep is setting up in a much more conservative way, though Lowry, that being said, has set up along the south, and set up along a bit of the west, while Flipstep gone more for a front-center approach. But this Quill is about... No, it won't go down, it won't quite die yet. I'm pretty sure that... No, the daggers will not get there in time. Lowry loses his Quill, loses his expansion attempt, and can't actually get revenge. Flipstep gets away with the daggers, and that was a good kill. At the same time, that distracted a lot of Lowry's daggers, keeping the main base open. Lowry's commander is going to be attacked directly. This mace is not in position. 
The dagger's gonna be able to get rid of the metal extractor, no problem. Lowry's commander has a shotgun, but it is not attacking right now, not in position to do so. Unfortunately, that makes in place, so Flipstep cannot stay out of this, and Flipstep does lose his daggers. Or lose most of the daggers, while his mace coming in here dealing with some of Lowry's daggers, but not enough. Unfortunately, the units were not quite in position, so Flipstep... Sorry, Flipstep, you did not manage to deal with Lowry's base. That was a pretty easy kill with the mechs, but really a matter of being in position or not. That being said, scalpels and scrubbers coming in, sorry, scalpels and daggers coming in for Flipstep. Lowry, on the other hand, getting a bunch of quills and maces, but not going for scalpels, so Flipstep getting a bit ahead right now. The scalpels, when they're up and in position, they will be able to deal with the maces, giving those daggers much more room to breathe, so Flipstep will have a lot more room to raid. And Flipstep now going to the northwest. The southeast apparently has been retake. No, it's being guarded by Lowry, but it hasn't been retaken by him. He's sending out a quill over to the southeast right now, but that'll take a little while before it gets there. And Flipstep, on the other hand, has... Another dagger just going into scout, figuring out what's going on. Doesn't get any shots in, doesn't get kills in. Flipstep right now, what does he see right now? I'm curious. Flipstep right now sees quite a lot on his radar. Knows where there's a mace, knows where there's a quill. Doesn't know much else, but he knows there's a bunch of stuff there. Lowry, on the other hand, he does actually see this quill coming in and stops from expanding to the southeast. He himself knows about the army being built up in this little choke point here. Well aware of that, also aware of the scalpel, that is, that's good to have. That scalpel is going to be very powerful, but one of them's not enough. He needs a few more, and those are not forthcoming. Halberds and daggers are coming in for Flipstip. Lowry, on the other hand, is he switching up? Yes, he is. He's switching the scalpels himself and going fairly heavily for them. That is a good idea because scalpels pretty much counter maces, but at the same time, scalpels are really weak if they're hit. I mean, a large number of units will be able to get through the scalpel due to their low fire rate. However, they do home and they do deal a lot of damage, so against maces they work out very beautifully. And from the north we see that there is an attack from Flipstep. He's gonna run into a lot of opposition, though I don't think these daggers are gonna deal any damage. They try to escape and all but one die in the process. And Flipstep at the same time does have more coming in. I think at this point he's trying to go for... Oh, he got to deal with harassment. Never mind. He's not even going to try to do, any, do anything. He has to deal with Lowry's harassment. And Lowry is in a comfortable spot. Getting more comfortable by the moment. He actually has one and a half times the economy of Flipstep. The army is about even for value, but the economy is getting way ahead for Flipstep. And given that Flipstep has focused most of his army into daggers, while Lowry has focused a lot of it into maces, Flipstep is at a disadvantage at this point. Flipstep does have a decent amount of territory, but Lowry's encroaching on it from the northwest side, and really, this northwest side is basically dead. Lowry can easily take that. The center, this whole area here is pretty hard to take for Lowry. The northwest is easy to take. The southeast, however, Flipstep's going for it. Flipstep should be able to take it as well. A few halberds coming in, and that will do it. At the same time, we do have some scalpels and halberds over in the center, trying to deal with Lowry's forces, and Lowry taking some damage from the maces, actually running into a bunch of defenders, and in fact, losing a mace for free. Losing a few defenders in the process, though, thanks to the scalpels behind it. But Flipstep coming in with his own, his own commander, taking out another mace. And with these maces gone, the daggers come in, get rid of the scalpels. So Lowry losing all of his scalpels. That was a huge blow. Absolutely massive. The mace is doing a good job dealing with this, but losing a ton of scalpels and maces in the process. And Flipstep still in a pretty defensible position. Lost a few defenders, but he just needs to build a few more defenders or lotuses. And he can reclaim everything here push a few more caretakers into this Covercraft factory. He has a Penetrator coming in as well. That's a little bit surprising. He doesn't really have the army to support it, I don't think, but he might be able to pull it out. And if he gets through this, gets rid of a few of the Metal Extractors here. He has some Halbers to the south, and that's doing a good job. Gets rid of a Quill, gets rid of a few more Metal Extractors. Keeping Lowry's economy down is exactly what Flipstep needs to do, but he's not focusing on this. These Halberds are gonna... Well, gonna be joined by a friend, but at the same time, Scalpel's coming in to try to deal with them. We'll be able to get rid of another metal extractor, which is good. However, the scalpels are after them. Not going to take a lot of damage. They did close up in time. However, northwest, we do have Lowry encroaching on Flipstep's northwest expansion. And Flipstep, even though he has reclaim, he's not... He, well, he has the potential for reclaim. He's not actually reclaiming yet. He has an economic advantage, though. It's slight, but it is growing. And the southeast side is fairly well defended. There's enough lotuses that the halberds will not do much. Penetrator is in a good position, and I don't think... It has not been triggered yet. This Penetrator is just hanging out, 
Hasn't done much, but it soon will. Lowry getting more maces, however, and also he has gone for air switch. He has gone for an airplane factor. He has ravens. He could get the penetrator, and the penetrator has been revealed. Lowry well aware of it if he hasn't been already. He does have enough ravens, I think, to deal with it, though. Let's see, the penetrator. Yep, he does. Two ravens is enough. He can kill this in one shot. Penetrator just dealing with what he can, and Lowry, however, does have map control. He just doesn't have his base being well defended right now. The Northwest has enough, has enough defenders he can just take this out, no problem. But at the same time, Penetrator is dealing with as best they can the mace, not actually hitting anything, and down the Penetrator goes. Like I said, two Ravens, more than enough, and another Raven just coming in for good measure to hit something, hit anything, really. The Razor not quite up in time, and it will actually take a decent amount of damage, but not enough to kill it. It does go up. That is area that is controlled by Lowry. Why do I have this defense range? Weird. Anyway, yeah, sorry. Controlled by Flipstip. So yeah, Flipstip has... Flipstip has a really good position right now, but that's only in the center. He's cutting through the center. This southeast side could take out, and that would be useful. His economy is about on par with Lowry, as is military, but it's slightly behind, and without air or anti-air, it's going to be problematic. Though, he does get some flails up, which helps a ton. These scalpels also will help out a lot. He can't quite push in, though. But he can take this reclaim field, hold on to it, reclaim a bunch from it, and build a few more caretakers. Getting an airplane plant of his own as well to help out. But if he gets a couple more caretakers and just pushes all that reclaim into his factories, that's going to work out beautifully. That being said, though, Lowry is using the reclaim that he can get from the northwest side of the map, just killing all these solar collectors, starting to reclaim some of it. Building up metal extractors as well. So Lowry taking the, nor the northwest, still has the southeast. So Lowry pushing ahead, flips up trying to just march through and deal with damage he can into the main base. Just cut through the center, while a bunch of a bunch of Ravens are actually taking a lot of damage from the Razors and Defenders. Two of them do go down. And Scalpels coming into the center are actually going to deal quite a bit of damage. I don't think they're going to kill any factories, but they should be able to deal with... It. Actually, they might deal enough damage to make it worthwhile. We'll see, though. One of the Scalpels has died without doing too much in the process, and the Maze is trying to get rid of the Ravens, but one of them does go down. Scalpels are going to be able to deal with one of the Ravens, but not able to deal with the, replane, the rearm plant, or rearm pad. If they dealt with the rearm pad, that would help a ton. He should probably focus on just getting a larger army, though. He needs to get more units in play. Getting some Swifts as well. Actually, wow. Getting everything. Okay, that was a misclick. But yeah, he is getting a bunch of Swifts as well as a bunch of Ravens. While Lowry going for pure Raven. So once those Swifts are up, I'm pretty sure that Flipster should be able to reclaim the air quickly. Then from there, he should be able to just push in, but not a lot on the ground. He has enough flails to work with this as well, or a couple flails. That's going to be a bit risky. 1,300 health. It will take a couple Ravens to kill them each. At the same time, though, they do have... What's the damage? They do have oh, 83 damage per second. Not that much, actually. So it's a question of alpha, and it looks like it doesn't actually matter. One of the flails is about to go down. Still able to take out a Raven in the process, but one of them does go down, and... Doesn't really help out too much. And unfortunately, getting out of the range of the missile, neither missile hits that gets out of range. And one of the flails goes down to a scalpel, so... Ugh. Flipstep is starting to run out of terrain. He is, however, taking the air control. His swifts are up. He does have air control. He doesn't have the southeast, though. He doesn't have the northwest, either. Lowry is just getting ahead in economy, slowly but surely. Flipstep's main advantage is this reclaim field, which he's actually not taking advantage of. Why is he not using the reclaim field? He really should just build more hovercrafts, build more planes, take that reclaim field, and push that into more units. That's something that Flipstep could really be doing right now. That would help out a ton. I keep saying that. That's my new thing, I guess, is saying help out a ton. I don't know why. But what I do know is that Lowry is still ahead, and Flipstep has the economy potential he could get through this. Lowry's also gone for Klugabot Factory for the anti-air and Rocco's, but... Yeah, it's just... All he needs to do is... Reclaim and push more into Hovercraft. Get a couple more Caretakers and just push it. Okay, now he is reclaiming. Never mind. He has started to get some reclaim in there. The commander is actually doing his job. It took him long enough. Now, Hovercraft. Oh, no. What? No, nothing is producing. Flips have not focusing on his production and getting some more in the Hovercraft, but still not focusing on his production. That is problematic. He needs to do that. He is excessing metal, and that's not what you want to do. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't gone for the infinite build. Like, repeat build is your friend. 
surprised how often I see that. Players just stop producing when they have the money to do so because they forgot about repeat build. And there are enough gla there are enough maces and scalpels. Flips is not gonna have an easy time getting in. Uh, air is not gonna work out for him at this point. Even especially in the northwest with all the Wow, that's a lot of defenders. My goodness. Lowry likes his defenders, apparently. And Flipstep not really building anything to break those defenders. No penetrators, no... Sheesh, I guess... Well, Phoenixes would work pretty well, but none of that either. I think Flipstep might be aware of this now. He knows how many... Okay, now he knows the defenders are here. And he has to deal with that somehow. Get rid of the northeast. He has taken care of the southeast. Sorry, northwest. He has taken care of the southeast, but... Even then, Lowry... He has his army, and Flipstep just kind of lost his chance. Really, if he had reclaimed a bit more, if he had pushed a bit sooner, gone a few more units here and there, and just... He could have pushed in, and probably could have taken the game by now. And also, not forgotten about the Northwest, because forgetting about the Northwest has given Lowry a, an extra six medal. An extra six medal per second. That is meaningful. That is important. He took a lot of damage thanks to that. And the Halberds are trying to come in here, but Rocco's coming in on the ground, so... Lowry has a lot of options. Flipstep, not so much. Moving in with a lot of Hawks and Ravens, but with the amount of Gremlins that are on the ground, and the fact that Scalpels are really good anti-air, I don't know how well this is going to work out. I don't think very well. The Ravens are trying to do their best, though. They're going to do what they can. Getting rid of a mace or something, anything, really. Shat Phoenix is where we work out okay. Getting rid of a couple Roccos, but that's a Oh, a Scalpel and a couple Roccos. Not a bad kill, but really risky. Some Phoenix is coming in as well. And no additional Hovercraft Factory. This is really difficult to work with. And Flipstep... Yeah, he doesn't have much going for him. He's getting, he is getting the southeast side of the map. So he's gotten that finally set up. Getting the center completely as well. Getting some caretakers for more reclaim. That's very good. Because he needs to reclaim as fast as he can get it. These Halberds moving in for another harassment stroke. But it's not going to work out too well. There are too many mazes, too many ravens, too much of anything. Lowry just has too populated of a base to be attacked directly. A couple of metal extractors do go down, but given the sheer number of quills in play, there's there's a dozen and a half quills right here belonging to Lowry, and Flipstip can't just kill them all like he would kill the caretakers. They're not going to go down that easily. He's trying to come in with a phoenix or two, but that won't work out too well. And the rearm pad, not a bad idea because I mean it would set some of these units on fire if they were on the ground. And actually, okay, that was a good shot of the reclaim pad of the penetrator. That's what Lowry needed, sorry, that's what Flipstep needed to do. Get rid of the Penetrator that way. But still kind of tricky. Still needs to push in further, and the Penetrator is going to help out, but it's not going to do the trick completely. Hammer is well trying to just push through these defenses. Something that Flipstep does not have an equivalent to. Penetrator maybe, but those are really expensive. So sending one to the northeast, sorry, northwest just to deal with everything here, not going to work out too well. However, the Penetrator that is there does... At least have some things it can do. Another hammer does go down. At least the Ravens can deal some damage here and there. Get rid of a few key units. But as the game goes on, Lowry is going to be able to build more and more of these key units. And actually, it doesn't even matter. Lowry just plowing through the center. Flipstep's own economic advantage is entirely based on reclaim right now. And he's going to lose a lot of that. In fact, his center base here is going down. There's nothing he can do about it. His commander might even go down too. Trying to reclaim what he can in the meantime before he goes down, but this is actually excess reclaim. It's just stopping Lowry from taking it at this point. This is reclaim out of spite. Flips up about to lose his commander too. Lowry coming in with a very strong force. The penetrator tried to help out, but it cannot deal enough damage. Cannot deal enough damage quickly enough either. So Flipstep, his commander just dodging out of the way, trying to evade it into the defender nest. That should help out somewhat, but even then, Lowry is ahead in terms of army. He has enough to counter directly. This is not going in Flipstep's favor. But Flipstep still has a chance. He's not out yet. He is getting more penetrators as well. He's getting more scalpels. Scalpels are not a bad idea. The penetrator is iffy, but it has been working out decently well. Especially that rearm pad kill. That was a good kill on the rearm pad. Very nice timing there. But still. I mean, the rearm pad hadn't been repaired yet. So that was a good part. But still, he needs a lot of penetrators to make that really work. And of course, he needs to make sure they don't die. That's also an important thing. However... Nice use of daggers, just getting rid of the gremlins, trying as best he can to get rid of the gremlins. Still losing ravens though in the process, and that is not what he wants. Doesn't manage to get rid of the mace. He, oh, actually never mind, the penetrator does get rid of the mace, and now the gremlins are going to go down to the daggers without issue. So all these gremlins, going, or a few of these gremlins going down, some of them managed to escape in cloak. But a lot of them are going down, and Flipstep is 
pushing ahead. Both players are getting more and more economy. With Overdrive, they are... Actually, they're both well overdrived. Although Flipstep has much more energy. In fact, Lowry hasn't done Overdrive at all. He does not have the energy income to Overdrive at this point. He is not accessing an energy. He can't Overdrive. However, Flipstep most certainly can and is getting about one and a half times in his Overdrive. I think that's actually all of his... Yeah, a great many of his mentally charges getting a pile as well just to make sure it's all nicely linked up. What's is that? It's going to help out even further. But yeah, Lowry is... Lowry and Flipstep are a bit of a stalemate, but still, Lowry has... Well, he has this area he can rebuild. He has a ton of reclaim he can take. This reclaim field is now belonging to Lowry, and he has all the quills. Like, three dozen quills. Pretty sure that those are all Lowry's quills, actually. Yeah, they're pretty much all Lowry's quills. He has three dozen quills. That's insane. He can reclaim this no problem. He can push that into units no problem with all the quills he has for just spending his money. So it's just a matter of Lowry picking the right units, and he will take this. But at the same time, Flipstep does have this timing. He can get rid of these quills. There isn't anything to defend them at the moment. So this is just an army of quills. That's all that exists at the moment. And the commander. But the commander hasn't been doing anything for the last little while. That is... That is huge. And yeah, there's maces coming in, but mostly quills. Lowry even pointing out in chat, it was six quills to one mace. That is a ridiculous ratio. On the other hand, we have maces, scalpels, and penetrators coming in from Flipstep. With caretakers pushing it. He needs more caretakers, though. So one thing, Flipstep is not using the economy advantage he has. He needs more caretakers, needs more builders. He's not taking advantage of that. It's the one thing that is giving Lowry a massive advantage right now is he can spend his money. Whatever he reclaims right now, he can spend it right away. The downside is, of course, like I said, these, these quills are pretty much undefended. So it's just a matter of running through. Flipstep can just run through here and deal with all these quills as he is with scalpels right now. Taking care of all the quills he can, although not quite as well as he could. And didn't even notice that a Wyvern came in. Wyvern was built. And it will be able to just nuke out everything. So Flipstep getting a second win here thanks to Wyvern. But you'll need to be careful with it. Make sure he doesn't lose it. Still, that's a great thing to have. And a second penetrator comes in here. Just pushing. This front line is very densely packed. But Lowry actually does have a bit of an opportunity. He could go through from here down over this high ground and into Flipstep's base, which is largely undefended. If he did that, just with his commander probably, that would be extremely powerful. I don't think he's going to do that. I think he's too focused on the front line. I think both players are too focused on the front line to think about doing tricks like that. should point out that Flipstep has taken the high ground from the southeast. So Flipstep's well defended in the southeast, but the northwest, not so much. However, a lot of damage being dealt. It looks like at this point we do have still still a great many quills. In fact, that Wyvern should go over here. If it attacks here, then Flipstep will turn the game right around. He'd have to kill the Gremlins first, though. That's the thing. He has to get rid of the Gremlins. But if he manages to get rid of the Gremlins, sheesh, that Wyvern will be able to just tear apart everything. That's all he needs to do, though. Just get the Wyvern, get to the Quills, and if he manages that, kill off all these Quills, and possibly the Hovercraft Factory... That will make all the difference. But I don't know if he's going to be able to do that. The Wyvern is just now being healed up from the looks of it, or has just been. Is he even on the field still? I'm not sure. I'm actually not entirely sure that Wyvern hasn't been killed yet. I don't see it anywhere. Oh, never mind. There it is. Northwest side of the map. Needs to go here. Although, it's got a lot of defense to go through. It needs to punch the defense somewhat. But if he can get through the defense, or get around in this direction, go from the... Like this alley between the defenders and then go south from there and hit the quills that would be perfect unfortunately not able to do so however fortunately for him a couple gremlins are about to reveal oh not quite didn't quite decloak the gremlins so flipstep not aware of what's going on there and that is not going to work out too well however flipstep needs more build power that's the problem he's getting more caretakers but he has so much excess economy while Lowry has no excess whatsoever all of it's gone into units losing a lot of units but has still an army of quills to turn to reclaim Though that army has been reduced in size. The frontline quills actually have all been killed. Or all but a few. All but three or so. And the penetrators are making sure that that's, that number gets reduced over time. Still, that being said, Lowry managed to push through. I think Flipstep might... Well, okay. I would say he might be able to push through, except for the fact that Lowry does have the Northwest. That counts for a lot. That counts for a great deal, and 
Really, it's a matter of making sure you can get rid of that. And the Halberds are pushing forward. Try to continue to break through the front line. And that Wyvern, where is that Wyvern? That is the real story of this game. If that can do what it needs to do. There it is, repairing up. Uh, not the best use of a caretaker, I'm afraid. But it is repairing up, at least. More caretakers are necessary. Needs far more characters. Are actually getting a Dante instead. What the heck? Okay, getting a Dante, but I don't know. If this Wyvern goes, like I said, the Wyvern just needs to go in the right direction. Kill these Quills, and that would turn this around. Or possibly just these Quills in the front line. Either way, it would turn it around. But Flipstep has no ground army, or very little ground army. He has some penetrators, but... Actually, no, he doesn't. The penetrators have apparently been killed. Or at least have been forced to retreat. No, they've been forced to retreat. They're fine. They're still, they still live, but they are not in the battle at the moment. However, one of them is going to the northwest to try to deal with, as best as possible, at least deal with Lowry's defenses. At the same time, Lowry is once again pushing forward, reclaiming this entire field, and like I said, he can use all of his reclaim immediately. While on the other hand, Flipstep trying to push all of his many metal into a Dante. Wolverine. Oh, where'd the Overn go? I did notice the bomb drop, but I didn't actually see it happen. It looks like it went to the northwest. No, oh, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Because it didn't attack where it needed to attack. And actually, I don't see it on the map anymore. I really don't. In fact, I'm suspecting it might have died in the process. Which means, at this point, Lowry can just push in. Actually, Lowry has double the economy of Flipstip. Managing to keep everything alive and managing to make the most use of his reclaim. There isn't much that Flipstep can do at this point. He does have the Dante, and he's going to push as far as he can with that. But it's not going to go very far at all. Actually, what is that Dante even planning on doing? He has nothing planned for that Dante. So we'll see what he's up to once it gets built. But at the moment, it's got nothing. And Penetrators are in position. Actually, well, actually, this one has to retreat. This one in the center of the map is in a decent position. But even then, getting spotted by the Hawk, or spotted for by the Hawk, but it's not helping out. Gotta be honest, there's not much that Flipstep can do. The Dante is not a bad bet. The Wyvern apparently is dead. And, yeah, I don't see it in the map. I do not see its icon anywhere in the map. There's no flying explosion. No, there's nothing. Wyvern is dead. Penetrator's not dead, but one of them actually is... Oh. They're gonna take a lot of... They're gonna be pretty heavily threatened. They're not dead, but they are threatened. On fight order, though, that's the best thing to do. Gets rid of another mace. Still, the penetrator's all he's got. All he has is these really heavy utility units. But nothing to really push forward. No bread and butter. No massive daggers or anything like that. The flips up managing to get, well, thanks to the Dante, a lot of his metal in units. And the catapult's going to help out as well to deal with the northwest. I don't know if he's going to live long enough, though. Really, Lauders has to push forward at this point, or pretty soon. Not quite yet. He can pretty quickly convert all these quills and reclaim into a ton of military units, but he's focusing more on getting a lot of quills. Focusing on the production aspect, not so much on the units being built aspect. Still enough Avengers to take the sky over, and that being said, flips up managing with the penetrators to keep everything in check. But now the Dante has been spotted, and flips up. This is all he has is this Dante coming in here, dealing the damage he can, and that's going to be a lot of damage, actually. Let me be able to tear apart a lot of this stuff here. Stinger is going to try to help out, but even then, Melitra is going to go down. Not a whole lot of military. Pentra is coming in and daggers behind it to help support. Gets rid of that. Wow, gets rid of the Stinger, no problem. And army coming in from behind as well to help out. Getting rid of these quills. Get rid of the army of quills, and not a whole lot that Lowry can do to break around the side. And a lot of these quills are going to be going down to the Penetrator and the Dante. The Dante needs to just move forward, though. Just confidently move forward. Kill everything in the in the way. Penetrator's helping out in support. Very good support, the Penetrators, by the way. Very useful to have that. The Dante not, taken, not getting surrounded thanks to the Penetrators. And it looks like Flipstep might have this game, though the Northwest is still tricky. The Catapult is 20 seconds away from being done. It's going to be moved over to the Northwest. No doubt about that. As the Dante does manage to get rid of pretty well get rid of the southeast and more penetrators coming in no never mind no more penetrators are coming in there's only the three none are being built but a lot of daggers are being built and the penetrators that are there are just moving in they're getting closer and closer to Lowry's base this Dante however 
Why is it? Where is it going? It, I hope it's getting repaired. That's all I can think of, but why is it doing that? Now is the time to attack. Although, okay, now is not the time to lose the Dante. So, yes, I can see that. If you had a couple of caretakers here, I could see that, but he doesn't. That Dante, I don't think he's going to heal itself. He needs to move in. I don't know what he's waiting for. I really don't. Because these penetrators are about to die to the Avengers. The Avengers are going to probably go for the penetrators, and that... Yes, they are! One of the penetrators is about to die pretty quickly. Although, actually, maybe not. No. Never mind. Not quite so quickly. Defenders are stopping them in their tracks. Enough daggers will be coming in, however, to deal with... La well, okay, deal with someone with Loudy's forces. Penetrator as well, helping out with the dagger support. That will still be able to push in. And let's see, where's that catapult gone off to? The catapult has been built, and it doesn't look like it's gone off... Wait, where has it gone off to? No, it's actually gone to the southwest as well. Okay, Dante is being repaired by the quill, but that took a little while longer than it needed to. And Flipstip should be able to push in at this point. The defenders are the only problem. He can... Okay, there we go. Catapults moving in. Getting rid of the defenders. Getting rid of a ton of quills as well when they hit. No, the quills move out of the way in time. None of them die, but some of the defenders do. Not the best location, but still, Lowry throws in the towel. Wow, quite the explosion there. Anyway, Lowry does throw in the towel. Flipstep manages to pull through in that game. Manages to win. Nicely done, Flipstep. Very nice back and forth game. Though, admittedly, fair about focused on this one section in the front line. Still, defenders are a bit ridiculous. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. That will be it for me tonight. And that's it. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And have a good night, everyone.